Facebook has been in the news lately for using tracking cookies that record activities after the user logs out of Facebook. They have since changed their policy, but this is an old and widely used practice on many websites. So, I'm going to demonstrate the easy way to remove cookies, history, and other temporary files that could easily be used to track you or otherwise compromise your privacy. Then I'll show you how to reconfigure the settings for some automatic actions. In all browsers, we're looking for something very similar to the others, but the setting will be in a slightly different place and using other words. I'll review Microsoft Internet Explorer in this video, find instructions for other browsers in our other instructional videos. Now the most common Internet browsers that you'll be dealing with are Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Safari from Apple, and Google Chrome. And this is what the icons look like, so you can determine which one you should be using based on which icon you click to open your internet browser. In the latest versions of most internet browsers, you must hit the Alt button on your keyboard to make the menu bar appear. Just like in Internet Explorer here, there's no menu bar anymore unless you're using an older browser. So you hit the Alt button on your keyboard, and then at the top you'll notice Tools. The easy way to clear this out is to choose the top option, which is Delete Browser History. You could also hit Control, Shift, and Delete all at the same time on your keyboard to do the same thing. When you do that, another dialog box pops up. Now in here you can preserve the favorite website data, so websites that are in your favorites will keep the data that's in there. That's something to pay attention to when you are deleting cookies for Facebook, if Facebook is in your favorites. You should also delete the temporary internet files, the cookies, and the history. Now you can delete downloaded history, which are the things that you've downloaded from the internet. Could be pictures, movies, music, or program files. You could delete the form data. This is the stuff that gets filled in for you automatically when you start filling in different forms or logins on the internet. You can delete your passwords. Of course, this is where your password automatically gets filled in for you and you can delete ActiveX filtering and tracking data. So when you're deleting the information from your browser in order to keep people from tracking you, you should take off the preserved favorites website data, put on temporary internet files, cookies, and history, and then hit the delete button. It will work for a little while, as you can see. And then you'll see an orange box appear down at the bottom that says Internet Explorer has finished deleting the selected browsing history and then of course you can close that box now if you intend to change settings so that these things happen for you automatically you hit the alt button again then go up to tools then down at the bottom use internet options in the internet options window you can see you could hit the delete button here and this would delete the browser history the same way that you did before or you can hit settings. In settings this allows you to determine when temporary internet files would be deleted. You can delete them every time you go to a website or every time you start Internet Explorer automatically or never. It also determines how much disk space is allocated specifically for it temporary internet files. In this case it's allocating 250 megabytes. You can also change the folder location where these files are stored. You can view the objects or view the individual files and determine how many days go by before it automatically deletes history. These are all the settings that Internet Explorer will easily allow us to do. There are ways to get in deeper into it and there are other security measures that you can take. For instance, you could use a different browser for certain types of Internet activity. Browsers typically store their internet information in different formats and in different file locations, so one browser is not aware of what the other browser does. You can set your browser to delete cookies upon exit, as we were seeing in the, the settings for this. You can use a cleaning utility like CCleaner or Adware and SpyBot to clean out these files as well. But the best option is to sign up for Computer Clarity's computer service warranty and we will keep your computer safe from these types of tracking devices. If you have any questions at all, give us a call at 719-266-8822.
or see us on the web at www.computerclarity.com.